Welcome back to The Fix. Right now we're in the dining room and it's a really big mess because we're redoing a bunch of cabinets. I think I've discovered how to make just a really smooth latex paint finish on a cabinet. No brush marks, no orange peel, no nothing. I will take you through this method and the great thing is even if you've already finished and you've already got several coats of paint on and there's an orange peel that you just don't like orange peel texture. This method will work to correct that and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Here I've got two cabinet doors, different sizes. So you can see a, a real smooth finish there. You can see in the reflection of the light there. And then when we move over here, it's a really porous finish. This orange peel just drives me nuts. This was done with this and this was done with a foam roller, but there's a whole other process that I think you'll be impressed with. First thing we're gonna do is sand down this door. I always like to sand and paint separately to try and control some of the dust. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now you can see after I've sanded, it's really knocked down the, the tall points on the that orange peel texture quite a bit. You'll notice I use the long sander as much as possible just because it avoids getting low spots and things like that. And then I use the sponge sander to really get right into the corners really well. We're gonna move it over to the painting area. Painting it laying down. I don't think you'll be able to achieve this same result if you're trying to paint it while it's still on the cabinet. So I've got my roller here. This is a um, mohair roller from Sherwin Williams. This guy right here. Bear mid grade paint from Home Depot. A large bear like animal, most likely a bear, has wandered down from the hills in search of food or perhaps employment. Please remain calm. Stay in your homes. Uh, and I've also added this flow troll. It's supposed to help with the flow of the paint and help it to extend the drying time a little bit. And we'll get to these. These are kind of the magic. What? The first thing is to apply a generous amount of paint. It's on its back, it's not gonna run and streak. With this trimmed cabinet, I'm gonna get the majority of the paint in the middle here. Run around the square to get tied into the corners there. Do the sides real quick. Like really lay it on pretty thick. Don't leave any dry spots at all, very well covered. I'm using this little foam brush just to clean the corners out in case there's any piling up there. Yeah, that's, that's all right. These are body filler spreaders. It's just a quick drag in it. You can do it a couple of times if needed and try and make as even of a motion as possible. You can see a couple of lines, but when that dries, those lines will all but disappear. And then it did drop a little paint off the edge there. You can easily just clean that up with your foam brush. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Can't we just buy a new house? In between cabinets, like I wash these completely clean. Use plenty of light so you can see all angles. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Magnificent. I love it. it makes me super happy. So once the paint dries, it does mat up just a little bit, but that's a pretty good finish. Man, there's cabinets from hell to breakfast in here. We've given that door time to dry and reinstalled it. You're gonna see the two side by side. So this one had that orange peel. So you'll see that comparison side by side. 
the light's quite a bit more crisp and that's an indication of a cleaner finish. On these other ones, you can see the nice glossy reflection off of those. The lines that you leave, they fade significantly. I'll be damned if that isn't just about as good as anything you'd get from like a factory finish. I think I'm on to something with the spreader method. Thanks for watching if you like this video. Maybe subscribe if you like. I do all kinds of random things, try and fix some things, try and fix more than we break. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please leave a comment if you got questions. I'm usually quick to answer. I hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one. Man, there's cabinets from hell to breakfast in here.